All right. So the stick finger holes are too big. 20 fit me at all. 25 is way too big. So somewhere in between like 22, I think would be better. Uh, Twenty one and a half. All right, so that's good. Now I have to add in some way of guiding. Oh, what's this? I didn't notice that. Huh. That's fine. Anyways, now I have to add in some way to guide these things so that they don't twist so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to make a sketch I'm gonna put the sketch on the bottom because the only way I can think of doing it is a stupid print and place thing I'm gonna project uh, this, this, and this, that should be all I really need. And I'm going to put a circle He, Ooh, there's an idea. Just because that feels arbitrarily, I don't know, that just feels fun to do, to put the circle there. Um... I'll put another circle, offset it, uh, minus two. I'm trying to think how this would work. So that would be two millimeters. Okay, let's see what happens when I extrude this. Oh, oh okay, hang on. Okay, let's see what happens when I extrude this by two is too far, right? That's like through the whole thing. It is not through the whole thing. Let me see what happens now if I, whoops, change this to have a taper. I'm actually going to not do this one. I'm going to change it to have a taper of How's 10 sound? How about 20? 20 20 feels good. Okay. This is actually perfect. I can project. Oh, wait a minute. I've got it. I don't even, I might not even need to make that sketch. Okay. This sketch, make it visible. If I sweep this and choose this path, and I choose join and make it okay I do need to make that sketch but this sketch will be 
renamed so that I can keep track of things. Guide hole. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change this to be two point five. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and start a sketch. on this plane, project itself, and offset it by negative 0.25, and then put lines going all the way down, and this is 2.005. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Now I'm going to sweep, 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 sweep. On this path, why do why did I sweep? I could have rotated. Ah, whatever. Uh Actually, let me do that instead. Revolve this. On. This axis. I believe it's like 13 degrees. Oh. It's gonna be 26. And that's not, and that's still too, still not enough. Up. Hang on a second. What is that? Whoa, okay. I guess I do have to sweep because for some reason, oh, because the taper, right, okay. Then here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get rid of that. Start a sketch here, right? That should be perpendicular to the, I'm gonna project this, I'm gonna project all of this geometry and this. I'm gonna make these go away. I'm gonna go ahead and loft this with this, make it join. I'm going to bring this up and now I'm going to revolve. That should work. It does not. It's because I it's because I did it in a lazy way. Okay. Okay, sketch holes. Guide holes, sketch six. Okay. Project all this crap again. No, 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 no. Okay. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Put the sketch here and project all that crap. Offset this by 0.25. Put a line going all the way here. 
Now I'm going to sweep it. On this path. And this is going to go all the way in and it's going to join. And this is going to go about there, I believe. It only has to go there, actually. In fact, it only really has to go like there ish. Rename this to guide. Bring the guide back and go ahead and extrude this this way. Just just to clean up the that's odd. That should work. I think that should work. I don't know if the tolerance allows for a lot of jiggle. It will allow for some, but a quarter millimeter shouldn't allow for too much jiggle and it should be something that can be achieved with the printer that I have. Uh, Strange that this let me see something. What if I give it a taper angle? Cannot complete extrusion. Why not? Cannot. Not point two, minus two. Okay then, what if instead of distance I go all? That really didn't change much. Uh, I'll include this just to be safe. That still doesn't change doesn't make any sense. There's a random line there. Oh well. I don't like the shape of the guide though, so I'm going to go ahead and change the sweep a little bit. I'm going to pull it all the way out. And then I'm going to go ahead and Put a plane here. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. Nope, gonna have to make a gonna have to make a darn sketch. Put a circle through it. And cut it out. Where's the Okay. And then if I close, if I measure the angle here, that's going to be eight and a half degrees. So to close it all the way, see 
would be eight and a half times two, which would be 17 degrees. Okay, cool, 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 cool. That shouldn't get too far in the way of my fingers. And if it does, then I'll go ahead and change the sketch for it to, yeah. So there is the guide. Now how am I going to do with the holes? I forgot to measure the darn thing and I don't, oh, I do have it with me, okay. Okay, when I close it, it is going to be approximately 12.05 is what my, uh, okay, the, yeah, basically 12. That's what I figured it was going to be. It's 12, give or take, whatever the error is on my calipers. Uh, so if I make a sketch about here-ish, put the body away, put a rectangle like there, Make it 12. And then bring the body back. And then estimate this. I know this was a, I know this was gonna be a value that, oh wait, hang on. Oh, I can't measure that yet, okay. Measure this. Okay, so that's gonna be four. Um, Cause I, I, I remember that was a whole number. So that's the size it's gonna be, right? That would be not able to fit if the hole was that. So let's go with, I want it to be fairly tight, but not too tight, so. 12 plus 0.3 should be 0.15 times two. So that should be 4.3. Move this over, so let me just. Okay, there's the midpoint on that one. There's the midpoint on that one. Move this, move this. Okay. Then the uh, okay. Then I've got the lines here, right? Which were Two, and these were all equal. So if I put a line here and I make this parallel to this and I make it point fifteen. Then I take the midpoint of this one is that this isn't I don't think that worked hang on whatever I'll just Whoa, okay, hang on. Okay. 
What is this? Yeah, the midpoint's there. Okay, so if I do the same thing on this side, make this equal to that, and make it parallel to this. Right, it should actually be above this line because they have the same bottom. All right, so this one is construction, and this one is construction. And this one's construction, and this one's construction. Put a line in the middle here. And then mirror these non-construction lines on this. Make this a construction line. And then offset this by like two, oh. one. Yeah, one's good for now. And then make this line a construction line. And go ahead and extrude this by about four, I feel like. And I will see what that does. That'll probably tend, I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the, thing here and it's and I think that would tend to squish the the sides in so like this side here would be curved a little bit in So basically, this side would be curved kind of like that. This is an exaggeration, but it would be curved in that direction. So I think its tendency to want to snap back to its original position will force this to stick pretty well in to here, but I don't think it'll be quite enough for it to withstand the forces of sticking a fork into something that a fork would be stuck into. So, what I think I'm going to do go back into this sketch never mind just gonna make it visible and I'm gonna go ahead and hang on oh I never whoops okay okay Make this visible. Okay, there, the, I see what happened. Okay, I was editing the sketch, and when the sketch was made, the, this didn't exist, so I couldn't see it. What? That much. That way, if I stick the, that way if I was using the fork, and I was sticking it into something, it can't slide, this can't slide further down. Um, I don't know how I'm going to keep it from sliding out because I think it needs some way of being kept from sliding out as well.
but this is the best I can do for now. Uh, this is, let me change this, let's make it like five actually. Yeah, okay. Rename this to uh, attachment mechanism whole test. Yeah. Oh, that's big. That's a big name, but what is this sketch? Okay. Rename the sketch to clean up the guide. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And according to according to I don't know if this will I don't know if this guy will work. It might get stuck. If it gets stuck, I'll have to be more intentional about how I design it. But for now, For now, I think that's good. Um, yeah, I'll print this out and see if it works. What did I change the 21 and a half? Yeah, that's bigger. I think I might change the uh, angle there. I might reduce it some. Okay. Now I'm gonna save this. And then I'm gonna rename this to that uh, save this gonna have more triangles it's not going up too much yes replace it save this this shouldn't have any like very many it's 36 <laughs> all right and now I'll print these out and see how well this works. Hope the guide works. I don't like, I don't like print in place. This, especially a, a mechanism like this, right? This is bound to curl up, right? This right here is bound to curl up. I mean, it's it's PLA, so it won't. But if it was a div more difficult material to you to print with. It's, this is a really, really risky first layer. And when I use it, what, when I use it, what finger is gonna be interfered with? My forefinger. But because of where it is, it shouldn't really screw with my forefinger at all. So that's pretty good. Okay. So yeah, I'll print these out and see how well how well this works and how well this works. So Okay. I got this printed, I've been messing around with it. What's nice is that it self-aligns, right? What's not nice is that it doesn't want to go farther than, than about here because it'll it'll kind of get caught and snagged and then instead of instead of going this way, it wants to bend like this. 
fits my fingers though. But my fingers my fingers want to pull it down. What if I put my fingers up past the little guy here? Then it works just fine and these stay aligned well enough to grab things, right? So that's good. Right? The problem is I need to have some way of keeping it from torquing in this direction. And I think the easiest thing to do is instead of having the guide way out here, I should move it down here to where the finger holes are so that I can't really, for one, my fingers go past the finger holes, right? So the torque that's is going to be very similar to this situation, I think, if I do that. Uh, two, oh, did it not? It didn't go in. Okay. Yeah. Because if I pull it out, though, right, I can close it all the way, and it's still aligned well enough to pick things up. So this works. It's functional. It would just be better if this was further in, I think. I'm going to bring these out farther a little bit, a little farther. And the finger holes fit me just nicely, right? Like I can take them off and put them on pretty easily. I might I might decrease that angle again just just to be just to keep it on a little bit better. Uh But anyways, that's the situation with the guide here, right? Now this hole that I stick it in is kind of... hard to do. Right, so... that would be attached to something like a spoon here, right? And then I'd be using the spoon function that was a good amount of force to pull it off I just don't trust I just don't trust the friction forces I don't like a fit I don't like a fit like that but I can use a fit like that you know so this would work but I have another idea that might work better it might not Which is, all right, which would be to put, like this is a pretty small spoon, it's a you know, plastic spoon, plastic disposable spoon. But anyways, I could put a hole, two holes in the other things that are at the same angle that this is at so this would be opened instead of closed right instead of closed it would be opened when it's in the spoon and fork and knife actually I don't know if I'm gonna do a butter knife anymore because I think a butter knife would be kind of stupid for this because like in the scenario where I would be using this this would be all I have if I have if I'm using a knife I need to hold down the food with something else what am I gonna do you know with with only one handle so I think a butter knife could be replaced by like a spreader like a simple little spatula so I might do that instead but anyways 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 it would be opened but because of the angle right because of the angle and the fit of the of the holes that I'm going to to do it would it would still be able it would catch coming this way right and it wouldn't go in this way because I would just not make the hole go too deep right so I think that might be a different way to do it but right now so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this Right, but I'm gonna also make that other whole design for the attachment method, and then I'm gonna modify this guy to be further into here so that I'm not 
so I'm not torquing on it in this direction so hard. And I think another way to not torque on it in that direction would be to decrease this gap here because Yeah, I could decrease that gap, but and I've noticed when using it that part of the part of the bending that's happening is because I'm squeezing on on these here. I want to be squeezing closer to this. Another way I could do this is by moving this up to this middle part here, but then it makes it much more difficult to print. So I'm going to try and come up with I'm going to try and exhaust all options before moving this upwards, you know. Um, so I'm going to move this guy back into into these pieces here. And I'm going to make a new idea for the attachment method, although I think this would work. Because it's really tight. It's really tight. I like that. But it's so tight that it's hard to actually put it, put things on it, you know? So yeah, that's how, that's how I think I'm going to go from here. 